Hello and welcome to this session. In this session we will describe for a given figure the rotation and reflection that carry it onto itself with the help of reflection symmetry and rotational symmetry. First of all let us discuss line of reflection. Now consider this figure showing the reflection. Here you can see that A dash, B dash, C dash is the reflected image of the triangle ABC and here line of reflection is K. Now you must know that line of reflection always bisects and is perpendicular to the line segment joining the points with their corresponding images. Here line joining to image B and image B dash is perpendicular to the line of reflection K and this line segment B, B dash is also bisected by the line K that is here OB is equal to OB dash this means midpoint of line segment B, B dash lies on the line of reflection also we see that corresponding sides and corresponding angles of the two figures that is a triangle ABC and triangle A dash B dash C dash are equal. Thus the two figures are congruent. That means triangle ABC is congruent to triangle A dash B dash C dash. Thus we see that in reflection midpoint angles distance and collinearity are preserved. Now let us discuss lines of symmetry. Now some figures can be folded so that two halves match exactly. Now here if we fold this figure vertically the triangle gets divided into two equal halves. The fold is the line of reflection called line of symmetry. So here L is called the line of symmetry or line of reflection. Now if we carefully see the figure, the line of symmetry gives us two triangles such that one is the reflected image of the other. Now here you can see when triangle ABC is folded vertically to the vertex A, then we obtain two triangles ABD and ACD and triangle ABD is congruent to triangle ABC. Thus, line of symmetry is the line of reflection which carries a triangle or we can say a given figure onto itself. And 
first line of symmetry acts as a mirror across the picture and there can be none, one, two or more than two lines of symmetry. Now let us find lines of symmetry of a square which reflect the square onto itself. Now there are four lines of symmetry of a square because four lines divide the figure in two congruent figures. Here you can see the horizontal and vertical fold give two congruent rectangles and two diagonal folds give two congruent triangles. So a square has four lines of symmetry. And now let us discuss rotational symmetry. Now see this figure. If we rotate this figure by 90 degrees in clockwise or anti-clockwise direction, we will get the same figure. The image and the pre-image are indistinguishable. It means this figure looks same after a certain amount of rotation and this is called rotational symmetry. Now a figure has rotational symmetry if a rotation of 180 degrees or less clockwise or anti-clockwise about its center produces an image that fits exactly on the original figure. Thus A figure is said to have a rotational symmetry if the figure is its own image under a rotation and the center of rotation is a fixed point. Now from a figure we can find the order of rotation of symmetry. It means how many times we can rotate a figure so that it has a rotational symmetry and we can also find the angle of rotation. For example, consider this pentagon. Now here you can see it has five vertices. So it can be rotated five times to obtain rotational symmetry. And here we have following rotations. In the first figure, the vertex 1 is at top. When we rotate the figure by a particular angle, the position of vertex 1 and all vertices change, but the figure remains same. And there is no difference. in the pre-image and the image after rotation. And this can be done in five ways. So, order of rotation is equal to 5. Also, angle of one free rotation is 360 degrees. Thus, angle of rotation is equal to 360 degrees upon order of rotation, which is equal to 360 degrees upon order of rotation, which is 5, and this is equal to 72 degrees. So here the first figure is rotated at an angle of 72 degrees and we are getting this second figure. Then the second figure is rotated at an angle of 72 degrees and we are getting the third figure and so on. Thus rotational symmetry carries the figure onto itself. So in this session we have learned line of reflection symmetry 
and a rotational symmetry. And this completes our session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.